I'm Cassie from Me Time, and this is a mini tutorial about the toy store from the Collectible Christmas Holiday Village. So the toy store is really fun. I want to talk about some of my favorite parts about the toy store. Number one is this roof. It is made with glitter and has this beautiful stitching, which is done on the glitter. Sometimes you think, I don't know how much we can stitch on glitter. Look how much we stitched on glitter. So fun. Other things I love is the red door. Who doesn't want to go to a toy store with a red door? Love it. And then in the windows, we put some toys and they have vinyl over the windows to give it that beautiful glass look. We have a cute rocket ship and a gift in the front, but my favorite is actually on the back. On the back, we have a beautiful fire truck and pram. How cute. So this is a really fun one and I'm excited to talk to you today about stitching the walls together which is a little bit tricky sometimes with that vinyl. In advance, we stitched the front and the back of the toy store. This way we can show you really quick about the side seams. What we wanna do is clip nice and close so that we keep all of the vinyl out of our side seams. This way they don't bulk it up and it can lay nice and flat. Once we have made sure that none of the vinyl is in the side seams, we're just gonna put them front to back as usual and make sure that we line up those seams and those sewing guides. I like to make sure I line up the sewing guides here on the end and then make sure my two pieces are lined up and then I like to clip it in place. And then I add another clip on the other side, making sure that they're even as well and that the sewing guides there line up. And then just to keep everything in place, I'm gonna put one right here in the center. We're gonna take it to the sewing machine and stitch those side seams. All right, so we're gonna stitch right on those sewing guides that we stitched at the very beginning. And because we trimmed the vinyl, it's not gonna be in these side seams. There's one done, then we're gonna flip over and do the other. I like to make sure I start at the bottom and go towards the top so that I start on the side I know is all even. Make sure you back stitch at the beginning and end of your stitching. Then we're gonna come over here, give our house a pop. Make sure that we start with one side, pushing it through, let the other side follow it, and ta-da! We have our toy store. Now, just like all of our other houses, we wanna make sure that we press it really well. But because we have vinyl, we have to ensure that we have a pressing cloth. The last thing we wanna do is melt that vinyl after we did all of that cute stitching. So we're going to use our starch as usual. I'm gonna just kind of cover up that vinyl with my fingers, but give my side seam some starch on the one side that's fabric. And I'm gonna press it really good after I've placed a pressing cloth. So we'll put the pressing cloth down and then we're gonna press hard on that seam and then give it a quick little iron. And that pressing cloth is gonna protect that vinyl for us. And then we're gonna go to the other side of the window, do the same thing. Just kind of cover that vinyl up with your finger and then put your pressing cloth down and press that seam really well. Give it a quick little iron to make sure it lays flat. And all of a sudden your house is gonna start shaping up the way we want it to. On these sides that have the vinyl, we're gonna make sure we have that pressing cloth there and we're gonna kind of try and avoid the window a little bit. We're gonna press up above. If you happen to hit it a little bit, that's okay. And then we're gonna press below. And what we're trying to do here is make sure we keep the heat off that vinyl but still help our seam. And then we're going to split to the other side and make sure we do that one as well. So we're gonna press above and below. This way we keep the iron off the vinyl directly, but still have a good seam. And there we go. Once you glue your roof on, your toy store is complete. Thank you so much for joining me today for this mini tutorial about the toy store and learning a little bit about that vinyl. I hope that you like and subscribe and follow for more content and go enjoy some well-deserved me time.